Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Cultist Simulator, shall we? We bit good evening, my friend. We're going to wrap up our kind of supernatural, uncanny zombie week. This really isn't fully zombie, but it's full-on creepy, and I have been wanting to play this game, and, uh, this was gifted to the channel by a, a tag team of Hella and uh, Pizza, and so I've got some DLCs. I don't know when those DLCs even come into play, but I'm excited to play the game. I thank both Hella and Pizza for giving the channel this game and the DLCs, and I'm ready to start a new one. We had played before, and I, you know, kind of went through the tutorial a, a little bit and played some, but I'm ready to just start fresh and, you know, die a whole bunch. Yeah, a wee bit. I, uh, I forgot to change the titles, so I was briefly on a RuneScape title, and I had to stop the stream and restart so I could rebrand it. Alright, so let's begin a game. Alright, so the Aspirant is alone in the chilly city with my useless education and my dreams. What now? Could I become something more? And that's our goal, right? To try and become something more. Um, so, right now, uh, we can work, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And we can also uh, go ahead and just look for some menial employment. So, right now, we only have one action that we can do. Um, I don't even know if time is even passing. But we're going to click on work, and we're going to just put menial employment right here. And another shift at the hospital, it says. Another shift, mopping the darkened hallways, delivering posts to hollow-eyed invalids, trundling corpse-laden gurneys to the basement. This is another day, another dollar, you know. And we're going to start. And our new job is beginning. It's running away. Okay. And here we go, and we're done. Um, and I'm going to pause the game because time is moving, and I want to, anytime I want to read the lore, what I'm going to do is use the pause just to kind of slow things down so I can take in the story, because this is really only the second time I've ever booted this game up, so I'm very, very new. I don't know a lot about it, uh, but I'm trying to learn. Halfway through your shift, the head porter beckons you aside, we won't require your services any longer. Ooh, I got downsized, he says. Here, your last payment. We've paid you through the end of the month. Well, that was nice of them. I've lost my job. At least now I have a little time to rest and my health improves. So we've unlocked a new action, which is dreaming. And you can see it's gone down here. And I don't know, this looks, this kind of blue rectangle is, I believe, my action bar where my actions can go. And we've unlocked Dreaming, and we get some new cards, uh, or some new ability, as I should say. We get health, and we get funds. So we can earn a living or practice the invisible arts uh, would be our option. Now, we can click on Work, and it opens up this screen, this little kind of toolbox Tool tip up here and it says something I can do, something I know, or something I am. That's a nice use of semicolons there. And these, I believe, are... It, I don't know what all of these tokens or icons mean just yet, but I do know that when you um, double-click on this, that any card that you can play here will glow. So we can actually put health on work if we want. And if we do this, we would become an unskilled laborer and do backbreaking work for meager pay. So that, like, do we want to do that? That's one question. Which would be, am I interested in backbreaking labor? And I'm really not. So I'm going to be like, no thank you. Um, and let's wait until we finish dreaming before we do anything. So I'm just going to pause it. We got two money. I guess we can 
like push M to fast forward, move the clock a little bit, and now I'm going to push space, um, because, let's see, we dreamed, and it says, recall my dreams. It began when I spoke to the old man in the hospital. He knew my name, but he's dead now, the pneumonia. Why do I dream of him still? That is disturbing. What is the cobalt light in my dreams? I I don't know what the cobalt light is, um, but let's find out. So we collect contentment, and it's a card that says, I'm happy, I think. Contentment defends against dread, but contentment doesn't last. Omega, good evening. Omega, we're not only joining cults, I believe, in this game. I think we start our own cult in this game. So I think this is a game where you try to make a cult, but I have not gotten very far in it. Right now, I've just been fired from my job. I had a dream which made me slightly happy, and I also learned passion. Dull minds are never either intuitive or mathematical. Blase Pascal. With enough glimmering, you can study to gain more passion. So we'll collect these two, all right? And I'm going to close this up. So at this point, I can work, I can dream, and right now, there's a change in the air. And so I guess I'm thinking, I need funds to live, but perhaps this recent upset in my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something to my dreams? There is a change in the air. Phoenix, good evening. We are making cults. We're going to try to make a cult and not die immediately. All right. So I think I can do passion as my labor as well, I believe. Um, if I double click on this, yeah, you'll see passion goes here. And if I decide to do my job as passion, I could become a painter. I used to paint. I could paint those sites I half remember from my dreams I might sell something I probably won't so the last game that I played of this again I didn't get very far but I actually became um, a thinker like I took um, a job at an office oh yeah Omega this is nothing like this ain't your regular simulator game. I believe you can die quite spectacularly in this game uh, and wild things happen. So I'm excited to do that. And I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try to become a painter. So I'm going to click start. And um, the amazing thing about the game is that you can do two things at once. So I can work and I'm apparently studying. I can also dream and I could dream about health. Um, if I want, and it says, with luck, I'll wake refreshed. Sometimes this will provide contentment. Often it will do nothing. Occasionally it will create dread or fascination. So I could dream about health. What if I dream about money? Um, oh, you can purchase a tincture of opium. And um, you can gain contentment by spending money to get opium, but it has surprisingly negative consequences we could also can we dream about okay we can't put that card right there all right so um i could just let my studying change in the air go you know but i'm just going to go wild and what does this say there's a little opening here and it says um Painting is going to give me a reward. Now, yearning, I don't know what this is. If I'm restless, perhaps this is what I want. Consumes its contents. Uh, I don't know if I can put anything in here that I have. No, I don't think I have a card that works for that. I, I double-clicked it, um, and it's not doing anything. Hey, hey, Pesky, good evening. Good to see you, my friend. Yes, indeed. All right, so I'm going to actually then just dream about health. So I can have... Oop, go back to that. Yep. A bunch of things happening for no good reason. So let's do it. So we're working on painting, or we're working on passion to become a painter. We are dreaming about health, and we're contemplating a change in the air. And unfortunately, this contentment that we got, I don't 
think it's going to do anything. Like it, it's short lived and you see it's going to run out. It's going to expire before I think I get to do anything with it, which is fine. You know, happiness doesn't last. Uh, at least this kind doesn't. So too bad. Maybe an event would crop up that I could use this on, but not right now. All right. So there goes my contentment. It, it vanished. Now, um, you see this badge in the upper right corner of work with a number two. That means we got a couple of things. And so it says, I finished a painting to the excitement of absolutely no one. No one but me. Sometimes painting will gain you glimmerings, which we got. Study them to unlock more advanced um, painting options. Oh, okay. Thank you, Phoenix. Right. And that's, you know, like I said, I'm very new to this game, so I'm learning as I go here. But what I do understand is that, like, sometimes there will be a, an event or a bad thing that happens and you can use your cards to counteract that if you have the right card at the right time. Hey, Claudius, good evening, my friend. You tried to get into it, but you got frustrated. Yeah, I'm hoping to just, like, say it's complicated and wild and I'm just going to have fun with the story even though I know I'm going to lose. Uh, so I got a glimmering, which will last for 175 seconds, and I also got my passion is exhausted. Um, so that means I can't use passion for another 60 seconds because I used up all my emotional energy painting. So we'll collect this stuff. And now I could work. Um, and I don't have any cards that will actually go there right now. So we have to wait until we're done dreaming. And we dreamed. And what happened? It says nightmare, the cleansing dawn. Uh-oh. Now I can slough off my flesh. That's not the right kind of dream. Patch by patch, tugging the tendons free like fibers picked from teeth. That's charming. My skin lies like a shredded blanket. The sun heaves itself above the horizon with a triumphant battle yell. The light falls like acid on my naked bones. Pain wakes me. My bones will throb for days. So, it looks like I did a bad thing. Dreaming about health gave me this nightmare of acid rain that tore off my flesh. That's not what you hope for. We also got a fascination. This says, light leaks through the cracks. My mind is brighter than it ever was. The higher I rise, the more I see. So I don't know what this does, but we've got it. Um... Yes, Phoenix, that's... I looked at a little bit of a beginner's guide to the game just so I could understand the... remember how to play. And I do believe that there is some event that can happen that if I have a fascination card, I get into trouble if I have it, I think. But this might be able to be used for something good as well, I'm not sure. So anyway, we'll take these things, and do we want to dream of anything? What happens if I dream of fascination? Um, the doors of vision swing wide. A little darkness will mellow my light. Even dread has its uses. Um, and I can play a reminder card, but I don't have any. I don't know if I want to dream about fascination at the moment, but it would be amusing. Now, this has happened, which is time passes. So, this is our sundial, and whenever this passes, we have to pay money, or we start starving to death, um, or becoming sick, which is, you know, not good. Ryder, good evening, my friend. So, we've got to start making money. So, at work, I don't, um, I can do backbreaking labor for the time being because my passion is exhausted to try to make a little money. So why don't we do that? Um, now I could wait, um, 47 seconds and work again on passion if I don't want to do backbreaking labor, but sometimes as a starving artist, you have to, you know, supplement your income with a little backbreaking labor, potentially. It's, it's an idea, right? Um, I'm still... The bequest arrives. A letter from a solicitor, the old man at the hospital, the one I dream of, has named me in his will. I'll heal more, more soon. Oh, great. I got named in a will. That's, that's fantastic is what it is. Oh, by the way, I've got to name myself, right? So we've got to be 
Um, you know, Doctor Incompetent, of course. Okay, so, gosh. You know what? I'm just going to shoot from the hip on this game. I'm going to go ahead and do the backbreaking labor. I'm going to say start. And as far as dreams go, I'm going to dream of the fascination and just see what happens. Oh, I can't because I need a reminder. Um, so I don't have uh, the right stuff. I don't have a fleeting reminiscence or a dread card. Oh, so maybe this is a way to get rid of a dread card if you have it, but I don't. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I have anything else I can dream about? Uh, money, but I don't want to buy opium. Okay, so we're going to just unpause it. All right, ooh, look at this, 11 things. What is this? A bequest arrives. All right, so the old man has bequeathed me a sum of money and a packet of peculiar papers, poetry, riddles, metaphysical speculations. For the first time in months, here is some fuel for my reason. Study is unlocked. All right, so we got nine money, we got a bequest, and we got reason. So we're going to take all of these things, and we now can study. Unlocks books and other treasures. So if I wanted to study, I could study uh, many of these things right now. So it's kind of like Omega. This, if I zoom out, you can see this is a game that's played on a tabletop, basically. And it's kind of like um, a card game. And you have these buttons, which are different actions, and you play the cards onto the actions. And there's tooltips and things. But yeah, it's kind of like uh, a board game, sort of. All right. Uh, do I want to study this? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to study the bequest and approach... Am I passionate or reasonable? Uh, my passion is exhausted, so let's just approach it reasonably for now. I'll examine each item with meticulous care. Good. Do that. Meticulous care, all right? Um, oh, wait. I didn't... I don't think I did it. Um, study the bequest. Reason. I gotta click start. That's right. Okay. And then, do I want to dream? Um, no, I don't. Let's just let it go. Our passion will come back alive soon, so I can start painting if I like. Okay, and my passion is back. All right, I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> exactly, Phoenix. A, a, a nice uh, God of War reference. All right, um, examine the bequest employing reason. My correspondent describes my dreams exactly. They use names that are instantly familiar. The house, the wood, the hours, the glory. They knew secrets beneath time and the skin of the world. A new curiosity burns in me. There is a note here. Directions to a bookshop that does not advertise its wares. Great, I love secret bookshops. All right, so we get our reason back. What else do we get? We get directions to Moreland's cryptic directions to the obscure address of a certain Moreland, a dealer in the rarer sort of books. Gosh, I love those occult books, all right? And then Temptation Enlightenment. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to wisdom. Great. This card will allow you to win an Enlightenment victory if you upgrade it far enough. Oh, this is a win condition. Dreaming about it might advance or change it. Notes on a possible collaborator. My correspondent had recorded his observations of me. He believed I had, quote, potential. He recorded his observations of someone else, too. With time and study, perhaps I can find that person, okay? And then a watchman's secret. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color exists only where there is light. Well, that makes it perfectly clear. All right, so I'm going to take all this stuff. All right, so let's think about this. What do we want to study? Well, I kind of want to study um, the directions to the bookshop so I can learn how to get there. And the directions to Moreland's shop are cryptic. But I could also study the notes on the collaborator if I want to find a friend to join um, our cause. You know what? Let's get a friend. 
Actually, let's get a friend first. I have a name, a description, a few tantalizing details, but there are a thousand faces in this city. Let's start studying that, okay? And then um, a time is going to pass, so we're going to get our money taken by the fund magnet. But the good thing is um, I got a bunch of money from the old man who died in the hospital, so I can fend off uh, illness and starvation a little longer. Now, um, I want to dream, and what do I want to dream about? Let's see. Um, if I dream about this, uh, should I dedicate myself to purpose or focus my efforts elsewhere? All right, if I dream about this, um, my ultimate aim, there will be a price. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to pay a price right now. What, we, what else can we dream about? Um, do we want to dream about... Oh, glimmering, right? We're about to lose it. Oh, no, we can't put that there. What about reason? What happens if I dream about reason? Um, there was once a man who said that the sleep of reason produced monsters. Well, that's awful. Often, it is healthy to let the mind wander in sleep, but if I keep dreaming sooner or later, some sort of monster will rise from my own fears. That isn't what I was expecting. What if I dream about a watchman's secret? No, I can't. Uh, I don't want to dream about passion because I want to do it. So... Let's dream about, um... Yeah, I know, I can't put that there. Fascination. Oh, but I don't have the reminder. That's right, I don't have dread. Uh... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna just pass some time. Okay, we got the money lost and we worked our job. Our health is fatigued, um, but we also ended up getting vitality, okay? Um, and here's our health, and then we got, we have our glimmering, um, and I want to keep working on painting. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and start it again. And I don't have anything that I can play here, I don't think. Um, it has to have restlessness. Okay. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and dream about... Um, can I dream about vitality? Nope. I'll dream about reason. Let's see these monsters. Let's see what you're talking about. I'm not playing with any sense of strategy. I'm playing purely right now just to have fun and see what happens. I want to see, like, what the game produces, okay? So we're going to dream about reason to potentially find monsters. We're going to be painting. Uh, we are right now studying a an, an path to an acquaintance, and um, a light in the skull is happening. Whenever the principle of the lantern sheds its light, I may recall additional scraps of knowledge. Okay, great. Let's get some more knowledge. Okay, we did, and I paused the game. Dusty facts have come clear in my brain. For now, at least. All right, what did we get? We got erudition. Okay, so erudition uh, says, I soak up knowledge as a shadow soaks up light. I may be close to advancement. Erudition can be used with study to gain reason. It lasts only three minutes if unused. Interesting. Hey, Karma Chimera, good evening, my friend. I did fall into this. I don't even know what this is, but I'm apparently trying to make a cult. Gaining power for chaos? That sounds great, Phoenix. I'm down with that. We gotta be something special. This is what happens when they fire us from our, our hospital job. You give idle hands, you know? Um, okay, find a potential collaborator, and now I have an address. I'll dispatch a letter and propose a meeting. All right, talk has been unlocked as a new action. And we got some mystique. Uncanniness lingers. Mystique may attract the attention of hunters. They can't use it to build a case against you, but it will encourage them to look harder. Right. So if we have this, when people like police or something come looking for us because we're a known cultist, it's bad news. Hey, awesome, writer. I hope you're enjoying it, my friend. Have a good time. Yes, Karma. I kind of am living Karma in the pause 
world right now because I'm new, so I'm reading everything just so I can try to even understand what's happening. I'm trying, you know, just interactions that I might not otherwise try just to kind of learn things about the game. So I'm going to click on study and uh, why don't we study um, the directions to Moorlands. Oh, interesting, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm bad at that too. So let's just see if we can pick it up. All right. So this says, um, the directions to Moreland's shop are cryptic. When one deals in the kind of books my correspondent studied, one must be circumspect. Yep, circumspect indeed. I'm going to study that. All right. So now everything is full. Um... I might have karma. I thought it just meant that if I if I had mystique around me, that um, hunters, it says here, could come to build a a case against me. Um, but I, you know, I don't know. Um, okay. It just says uncanniness lingers. Oh, I see. All right, we're going to let it go. Our health is coming back online. Our glimmering is fading. Whoa, we got a whole bunch of things. So we just got a new action here. You know I have, Omega. I think it's on um, Xbox Game Pass for PC. I've thought about trying it. You enjoying it? All right. So we got Explore now. Now that I've found a location, I can explore it. Explore the city with health or followers. Explore locations or investigate the possibilities of lore. Exploration is often unpredictable. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to double-click on this, and I can only really explore the occult scrap that I got. Secret histories are layered beneath the one we know, like the notes in Rare Wine. This is a detail from one of those histories. Exploring this scrap of knowledge may uncover secret locations in the capital. Okay, Omega, cool. Thank you, my friend. Ah, uh, yeah, I put Scrap Mechanic on my uh, wish list. Oh, I see. Interesting, Karma. That's kind of funny. Well, we'll just try to figure things out then with a balance of, of you know, non-spoilery tips from knowledgeable people and our own horrible experiences so i'm going to explore the city but in a direct i want to just go right to the bookshop there are places in the city where i can find extraordinary things if i can sift the clues out of history and rumor so i'm going to try this um, as my first exploration and i'm talking and look at this to reply to your letter is courteous if Oh, the reply to my letter is courteous, if cautious. They are intrigued by how you found their name, intrigued enough to meet you. So, um, Eldridge is an acquaintance that we have met, and so we can talk to him. And I'm assuming I can only... Oh, I can talk to the Watchman Secret or Eldridge. I don't know why I'd want to talk to this right now. I want to talk to Eldridge. Together, we might be more. I want to get the team together the cult team. So I want to talk to uh, this guy about his scar. So let's just be like, Eldridge, you must tell me why you have a red eye and a scar. And we're going to start talking to him. Here is someone I might work with, a companion or a follower. But first I must give them something 
to follow a society, a sodality, an order, a cult. Oh, okay, if I talk to him, I'll start founding a cult, but I don't have to do this right away? Interesting. 